Alright, this is the seventh video in our pre-instructional video series. This one is all about estimating differences. The last video is about estimating sums, so this one's going to be pretty similar, except for the subtraction, of course. Okay, so here's the title of our lesson, and here's our learning target. How do I estimate differences? Once again, you'll see this very familiar thing. Round, then solve. And in this case, we're going to be doing some subtraction. So you can round to the nearest 10, like before. You can also round to the nearest 100. It really depends on the problem. If you have a three-digit problem, and you're subtracting another three-digit number, then you could use three digits to round to the nearest 100. So any other instance, if you have a three-digit minus a two-digit, or of course if you have a two-digit minus a two-digit, you'll probably want to use rounding to the nearest 10. You can also round to the nearest chunky number, so a number that ends in zero. Those work really well too. Things like 50, or even if they end in five, sometimes that works out well. If you round both numbers to a five, then they'll cancel out. All right, so let's suppose that there's a very particular concert that uh, is trying to sell seats, and they have 493 seats, and they have sold 126 of them. It's going to be subtraction because here's why. We look at a parts and whole diagram. We have 493 total seats, and we have 126 that have already been sold for the concert, and who knows what that missing part is. All right, so um, I'm going to solve this problem. We haven't gone over how to do this in class, but I'm going to solve it, and then I'm going to use estimating to check my work and make sure that I'm in the right ballpark with my answer. So there's 367. I'm going to use estimating. I'm going to round and then solve this over here to check my work. All right, so 493. Well, that's really, really close to 500. So I'm just going to push that up to 500. Sometimes when you're showing estimating, you can make this little arrow. 126. Uh, that's really close to, I can say 130 if I'd like. We can even say 100. So this subtracts, this makes 0. Now since I'm done with the 1's, I can ignore them. I can just cover those up with my finger. And now I actually have 50 10's minus 13 10's. It's a little math trick that you can use. When you've solved for the 1's, when you're doing subtraction, you can just cover those up, and now you've got 50 10's and 13 1's. So I'm going to use my knowledge of 10's and 1's to subtract 50 from 13 very quickly. I'm going to think 50 minus 1, 10. That's 40. Take away three ones. That's 37. If you didn't understand how I did that, that's okay. You can just count down on your fingers or some other strategy that works really well for you. But what's important to see here is that this is pretty close to this. It's off by about three seats, but it's not accurate. But it tells me that I'm pretty darn close. So this is probably the right answer. Okay, so here is your exit task. You are to round or estimate the difference of 704 and 367 to the nearest 100. Nearest 100. I'd also like you to estimate the difference of 186 and 75, but only to the nearest 10. Remember, you can rewatch this video as many times as you like.